in this lecture, we will initialize vtest. We will do the steps in order to configure it. And at the end, we will write an initial test to see if our configuration is working. What we have to do, I have written the steps right here on the screen. First of all, we need to install the testing dependencies and we need two setup files, a setup.ts and a vtest.config.ts. Let's get started. First of all, we need to install our dependencies. So I will go to a terminal inside the computer. This will be a long command because we have some dependencies to install. First of all, all the dependencies will be development dependencies because tests are development dependencies. And what we need, we need vtest and we need also a dependency JS DOM. We need it in order to have an environment for our tests. Then we need two or three dependencies from testing library. And I will call at testing minus library. First, we need react because we will test react with the testing library. Then we need the testing library at testing library user event. We will need this later to test user events, of course. And in the end, we need also testing library slash just minus DOM. Again, an environment for our tests, especially for the types, since we are using TypeScript. Let me install them. And very important, be careful for typos. We don't want to install any malicious packages. All right, our dependencies are installed. And now we need to test configuration files. For this, I will create a new folder inside our package. I will call this test. And this test folder will initially contain only one setup.ts file. And this file will contain a piece of code that will be run before each and every test. This is the code that will be run before each and every test. We need this after each block from vtest. And after each and every test, we will call a cleanup function from React Testing Library. And we will also clear all the mocks because tests must be independent from one another. A very important line is this import at testing library slash just DOM. With this line, we will import all the testing functionality from just DOM. Otherwise, we won't have custom measures for React. We will use them in a moment. This is our initial setup file. Now we need one special setup file for vtest. So I will create a new file at the top of the project. I will call this vtest dot config dot ts. Again, careful for typos. Otherwise, vtest won't load it into or won't take it into account. And this is our vtest config file. We need the define config from vtest vtest config. And uh, since we are using TypeScript, this is uh, very nice because we have type in this vtest configuration file. We need to specify that we are using globals. Our environment is JS DOM and we are passing a path to our setup.ts file. So this file will be called before each and every test. Make sure you don't have typos or your paths are correct. Now the next step would be to also add a uh, script for our testing environment or testing uh, command. And we can do this inside the package.json file, inside the scripts, we can add a new script. This is simply a test script. And as a test script, we want to call vtest. And what this command will do, will search for the vtest command. If vtest will be installed as a global dependency, it will execute it. But it's better to have it installed only as a local dependency. And what npm will do, we'll go to our node modules inside the bin entry. This is a folder that will contain different commands. And at this point, we should also have a vtest entry. Basically, it will execute this script right here. All right. We also configured this inside the package.json file. What else do we need? We need a testing test to see if the configuration works or not. In order to test the configuration, I will build two very uh, basic files and I will call this first.tsx and this will be a very basic component like this a simple component in which we are simply returning a h1 very basic 
and let me now create a test file. I will call this first.test.tsx and I have wrote a basic test inside this first.test.tsx. I'm importing the first uh, component and the render function from React testing uh, library. We are rendering this first and we are expecting it to be inside the document. But now the problem is that we are getting some TypeScript error, errors. It tells us that it can't find these uh, functions, the describe, the eat, the expect, it can't find them. And the reason it can't find them is because we didn't add them to our TS config. So inside the tsconfig.json file, I will add some compiler options. And these compiler options will contain the types for our vtest globals and the types from our testing library. And I will also add these uh, types to the other configuration file inside the app.json, the tsconfig.app.json. We also need to add them here. And if I save this file, then the error should go away. Yes, it went away. Finally, the configuration uh, is working. So let me check it. I will call npm test. Let's see if uh, it works. And yes, our first vtest test works just fine. We are getting this should render component green screen view. Let me make another check before finishing this lecture. I have added another check inside the test. We will talk in uh, much detail in the next sections and lectures about this screen and get by role and heading. We don't need to understand this at this point. What we care about is this to be in the document function or a matcher. If uh, you get an error right here, then maybe you forgot to add your configuration or your setup.ts is not taken into account. If, for example, I will uh, not have this line right here, then these measures won't be available. This is the role of this import at testing library, just DOOM. Make sure you have it and make sure this setup.ts file is taken into consideration. So we saw in this lecture how we can set up vtest for testing with React and TypeScript. In the next lecture, I will do the same for Jest. You can uh, skip it.